before you get started, check to make sure you have all the right materials. The radius chart, scrap paper, the Federal Stone catalog, a pencil, and a walking tape measure. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. While you're at the job site, check around the pool and notice important areas like skimmers, steps, ladders, and lifeguard chairs. Also check to see if the coping is going to have standard and reverse radiuses. Next, take your scrap paper and pencil and create a sketch of the pool and include the markings that you noticed earlier. Check out the Federal Stone catalog to see which coping best fits your pool and then notice the radiuses that we have offered for that series. Now that you're at the pool with the radius chart, you're going to want to always be on the deck to measure the coping. Notice on the chart how the standard radius curves are pointing into the pool. If you get to a point with a reverse radius, simply flip the chart over and you can see the curves are now pointing towards the deck and you can read the corresponding number down the side of the chart. Lay the chart on the water's edge and sight down through the plexiglass to the coping. You'll be able to tell when the corresponding arc is not correct because it will begin to come away from the stone at the edge of the chart. This would result in the stone starting to hook too soon. So continue to move the chart until you find the correct arc that matches the edge of the coping. Once you find the correct radius, write the number on the stone. Go back to your sketch and locate the area that you were just working at and write down the radius number for the entire arc. You can now measure the next radius for the coping, but first you need to find the tangent point. So where two different radiuses come together, draw a line. Continue using the radius chart to determine your next radius, and then write this number down on the stone as well. Continue measuring all the different radiuses around the pool, stopping at the tangent points and writing the numbers down. Once all your radiuses are found, start at a tangent point and take the walking tape measure along the edge of the coping to find the distance between the tangents. Go back to your sketch and record the numbers for the particular areas, such as 40 feet, of a 10 foot radius. Once you have your completed sketch with all the radiuses and distances, email or fax us and we'll take care of the rest.